Hi, my name is Georgette Adie Bigley. I come from Cameroon, Central Africa, from the East region of Cameroon. I'm half Baka, half Bantu. I'm here to express to you the urgency that the Baka people need and asking for your help. To Back in 2009, I did a documentary. I went back to my home village to do a documentary, which was preservation of a culture, the way of life of a pygmy, which is well known. That's how they are known in our world, pygmy, but our tribe is bad to uh, Baka. I did a documentary. When I got there, I now became aware of how they were chasing away from their own homeland. Now the Bantu people, the Baka people are the indigenous of Cameroon. With the migration of the Bantu and the deforestation for many years has caused us to be now homeless. Why? Because as pigmen, we are hunter and gatherer. Which means we move from places to places to collect what is available for us in the forest. Nowadays, we don't have that permission or freedom anymore. We are not allowed to live in a jungle. We are not allowed to have a piece of land in a village because the migration of the Bantu people has taken everything, which means changing our way of life and then now adapt to the way people live. Without owning land, we became almost like slaves to the Bantu because in order for us to adapt to the way of life that they, they're living, to have some food, not being able to hunt anymore, not being able to fish, as you can see in some of the images that I did, I captured during the documentary. We have now to work for the Bantu people to give us salt, to give us a piece of land where we can stay next to them. That's not a kind of life we used to do. We used to be able to live. So I'm coming here today to ask you if we can be able to have a portion of land for ourselves to be able to try to live our own way and trying to adapt to the normal life, not being afraid that we'll be pushed away, we'll be taken away by any any time. Our kids does not know our culture anymore. We're not able even to try to tell them the story because we have no way to bring them and express our story and our culture the way we used to do it so they can at least have the, the vision of it. It's very critical. So I created this organization called Bantu International as a nonprofit to help promote culture. I back in 2001 uh, 2009, the ambassador's preservation of culture called me and asked if I'd be willing to volunteer to do this project, knowing what I have been doing to promote and preserve the culture. I accepted. That led me to go back to my tribe in Salapumbe, East Province of Cameroon, to do this documentary to keep their way of life. When I got there, my people, when I said my people, my tribe, the Baka people told me that we will not be able to do any filming. I asked them why. They said, they're not sure the Bantu people will let them. So they approached me and said, whatever you're trying to do is not going to happen because these Baka people have no right to any land or they don't own the land that they're staying in is not theirs. So the agreement for me to be able to pursue with the work that I was going to do to, you know, to capture the, the way of life, to express themselves, I had to now approach a piece of land, which was something, not much, but for the time being, I was obligated. So I did approach a piece of land and my own money, it wasn't in a budget. That was something that I wasn't expecting to, you know, be coming across her because I know the land is ours. So I did purchase the land. Sadly, I, I didn't have enough money to finish paying the land. So now I owe that much money. My organization owed that money to pay back. And that's why I'm here to ask you to pay, to help me pay that land. Other way, they will be chased from that land. If they take it away, that little land away from them, they will not have anything. And I want them to own it and even have a, a bigger than what they have because there are so many of them crunching in that little space. 
please this is why I'm here asking you the urgency to help them save that land and help them save more so they can have a better life